So the Power Hex, which is really what I wanted to talk to you about today, is a product that we conceived and uh, designed, built ourselves. Um, as you can see, it uses the shape of our logo, this is the hexagon. Um, and really what we wanted was something that was uh, <coughs> a ergonomic. A lot of these, uh, these portable backup systems are, uh, are pretty ugly. Um, we even have a couple of ugly ones ourselves, so we wanted to make something that was a little more attractive. And that would fit in so you, you can get it in black or white. And it should fit in with the, the decor of your house or you know, next to your hi-fi and, and, and not look, uh, not look too, too obtrusive. Um, that's really the idea. Um, <clears throat> the, the most important thing that we really were trying to achieve was uh, reliability. Um, and performance. So those are the things that we all want in all of our products, um, which obviously meant that we had to look to the other products that we use in our suite. So what we've used inside here is an industrial grade inverter, pure sine wave, 1000 watt inverter um, that uh, actually can mount on a wall. So it's, it's one of those inverters that typically is mounted on a wall. We've mounted them internally here and it connects to a uh, AGM gel battery, 100 amp hour AGM gel battery. Um, so typically that AGM gel battery should give you around about 1800 cycles. That's the discharge and recharge uh, of, of the battery. Um, what is quite neat about the inverter that we've got in here is it has a, a very quick switch over time, so 15 milliseconds. That means if you're watching television, uh, there won't be any interruptions. Uh, it's, it's completely seamless uh, because the power is actually being constantly provided by the inverter. So it's really doing a recharge or a UPS type function uh, constantly. Um, of course, it's a thousand watt unit. So, you know, typically in, in a normal home, if you were to put a, a, uh, a fixed system you're probably going to be looking at somewhere between 3 and 5 uh, kilowatts. This is only 1 kilowatt. But it will serve the purpose of backing up things like TV, DSTV, a hi-fi system, a lamp. Uh, so, you know, a few, a few items. If you were doing 150 to 200 uh, watts, uh, it should give you about 4 hours uh, of backup. It also has, which is pretty cool on it, is an intuitive front panel and it tells you the important stuff that you need to know. Um, the, the condition of the battery, for example, um, uh, so how much percent of the battery is, is required, the load that you are putting on the machine at any given moment. So if you're putting too much load and, and you're wanting to get to about four or five hours, then you need to keep it to sort of about 150, 200 watts and there's an indicator that will show you that. Um, <clears throat> it also has, as an output, obviously it has a normal kettle plug, it plugs into the mains, and then it has as an output uh, a three pin plug, which we're all used to, pretty much like this one next to me, two pin plug, uh, and two USB outputs uh, on, in, in one, one plug grouping. And the other thing that we did in the design was we made it lockable, um, so that there's no tampering with the inside there. Also, obviously you have open battery poles, uh, not ideal for small children to come uh, uh, poking around in, so we made it lockable, take the keys out, and no one can get inside the, inside the unit. So uh, it's, it's particularly safe as well from that perspective. Um, I think uh, what I should do next is uh, give you a walk around and give you a close-up uh, of uh, of the, the actual power hex and you can see what it looks like in the internals and uh, some of the other features of it. Let's take a look inside. We have our 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter from TBB. It has lots of temperature control and various other protections inside it. Um, below it, uh, the battery. It's an AGM gel battery. Uh, temperature sensor so that the the inverter can see the temperature of the battery 
and shut down everything if it uh, gets too hot. And then also these leads running back to the inverter that uh, uh, give the state of charge of the, of the battery uh, to the inverter. And that all displays on this front panel which is identical to the external front panel which uh, we'll go through in a minute. And of course this is the box for the external outputs uh, that come out of the inverter. And we'll take a look at those uh, in a minute. So, just, we're going to close the game, lock it up, take out the key, and keep the little fingers out of, uh, out of the battery and the electronics. So, right, so our left hand scale here is 25% uh, increments up to 100%, and that tells you the load that's currently on the, uh, on the inverter. Uh, then your battery indicator, uh, also at 25% increments, so the battery is 100% full. Uh, then you have your AC in, which is your, um, your, your grid is present, so you're getting power from, from the grid. Then you can see that it's charging, so it's still charging. Um, and then of course we have when it switches over to inverter, so if the grid were to fail there, then that light would come on, and this would indicate if there's if there's any faults uh, on the system. You can also set uh, your current that you want it to be able to, to hold. And of course, the higher you set that, uh, the shorter it will last as well. And then this is full inverter mode, and then that's charging mode only. Um, so that it wouldn't, it wouldn't switch over automatically, uh, whereas that's the fully automatic, uh, the fully automatic mode. So this is on the right uh, rear side. You have your two pin, your two USBs, and your three pin out. Normally you would put a multi-plug onto that three pin, um, and then of course USBs you could use for charging phones, uh, etc. And on this side you have your mains input, which is a normal kettle plug. And then as you can see your wheels at the bottom with a normal handle like a carry-on bag handle uh, as usual. Of course we've got some ventilation in the top here um, just to make sure that we don't we don't have any temperature issues. Okay so that's a brief synopsis uh, of the of the power hex. Um, we have uh, we have put a few into the market already and a very very good success rate from them. In fact not one has come back yet thankfully. Uh, there's another little thing which this is not our entry level uh, backup product. This is really our entry level backup product. This is called the Rattle. Um, so it's a very small but very powerful little box. Uh, it has four lithium ion batteries uh, inside. And it's actually a DC to DC UPS. So it doesn't take 220, uh, although actually you can charge it for 220 uh, volt supply. But it can also be charged via solar, this particular model. And then you have uh, 9 volt stroke 12 volt output as well as USB output uh, and a 5 volt output so and you can select the 12 or 9 volts here uh, very very um, handy little product so if you have a, uh, a laptop that's got a decent battery in it uh, and you have a router and particularly seeing a lot of us are working from home as am I at the moment uh, you can use something like this when there's a power outage to back up your router and as long as the, the laptop has power, your router will have power and uh, you'll still be on the air. So, neat little product, sub 1000 Rand type of product um, and uh, getting very, very good reception in the market. And yeah, thank you. So that, that is a, a brief intro into a couple of our backup products. The next uh, in the series, I'll talk a little bit generally more about uh, installed backup systems that are wired into your DB board. Um, so that will include the kind of inverter that's inside here, but much larger ones, larger battery installations, um, and then we'll move from there into uh, hybrid installations, which is solar as well as, as backup power. But uh, thank you very much for watching.